would you, how would you kind of class the discussion today? Do you think there were some points which weren't made, some issues which you don't think you think weren't treated well enough? What was your feeling? Um, what was your critique of the event? Well, no, I think that instead it was a really good event. Uh, many points were discussed, uh, many um, uh, topics were, many issues were touched. Um, I would say that uh, uh, the event was uh, successful and uh, the stakeholders uh, were representative of uh, different sectors. We were representative of uh, institutions, the business sectors and uh, uh, the parliament, so it was a good representation of all the possible stakeholders. It's a good, they are a really good events to give the possibility to um, policy makers, decision makers and stakeholders to get together uh, to discuss about relevant uh, dossier, relevant roadmap that have an impact on the life of uh, every uh, citizens and business sectors and uh, for all Europeans. So so they really welcome all uh, these events and uh, we stakeholders, we also would like to have more of this kind of debates in order to, to, to understand better what is going on, what are the developments, what is the approach that the European Union is going to choose. So um, really, really good moments for us uh, and for them also to appreciate what uh, how, what is our, um, what are our opinions and uh, the opportunity to have a debate at the end of uh, the panelists. Uh, uh, it's also an opportunity for them to, uh, to, to, uh, to understand our uh, points of views and perspective. You represent an organization which is in, interested in saving energy. In, uh, That's, uh, energy efficiency. In yeah, energy it, efficiency. Energy efficiency was talked about this yeah. evening. Um, and it was seen as something which was obvious and simple, but which wasn't being done. Why do you think that is? Yeah, we now the uh, European Commission uh, proposed in June a directive, a energy efficiency directive. Now it's analyzed by the and discussed by the European uh, Parliament. Uh, it's of course is a core issue of the energy roadmap. Uh, 2050. Also, uh, the representative of the Commission said that it is a key priority in all the scenarios. And we really appreciate and we really welcome uh, this ap approach. But we really need a strong European directive. The roadmap, of course, is something uh, that doesn't have a direct impact. It's not a uh, kind of legislation that have a concrete impact. Instead, the directive will have and could have, and we really hope that it will have a, a really strong impact with some targets, with some binding measures, uh, if the targets are uh, not accepted, in order to improve the energy market, uh, they improve the energy efficiency and then the energy savings market that is that really needs uh, to be uh, developed in Europe. Many. Um, measures uh, are already foreseen in the energy efficiency directive. We really hope that uh, member states and the European Parliament will be more ambitious than uh, the, can the, can the Commission has been in order to um, adopt a ambitious energy efficiency directive for Europe.